All right, fruits and veggies, we've reached our final destination. Exit on the doors to your left. <laughs> no need, Percy. Me and the workmen can handle that bit. Father Trotter, I was wondering where you got off to. Usually you ride with us, in the van. Yes, usually, but uh, I found my own way this time. Oh, did you walk? Uh, well, uh, yeah, 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 I walked. Ah, oh, lovely spring day for a walk. Bit of a trek though, isn't it? Oh, I, uh, I needed the exercise. Um, how, how about I inspect the produce then, eh? Sure thing, Fred. Have at it. My goodness, not a single tomato bruised in here. You've, uh, you've done well, Percy. I always do, don't I? Yeah, yeah, you do. Has something got you down, Mr. Trotter? No, no, it's nothing, Percy. It's just, um, I want you to know how grateful I am for your help. All these years, my farm would have never grown to the size it is now without you. Oh, well, you're welcome, Fred. I mean, that's what our railway's here for. And thank you, too. Oh, you don't have to thank me, Percy. No, no, I do. Without local businesses like yours, our railway would have no purpose. You keep us in business. Thanks again, Percy. For everything. Uh, sure. Any time. That was a little weird. Yeah, no kidding. I better have a talk with him in the pub later. He looks miserable. You think it's something we did? Nah, I think it's the opposite. No time to dwell though. Henry's due within the hour. We've got to get his train ready. Oh, right. Uh, which track are the trucks on this time? Uh... All of them. Oh boy. We better get a move on then. Come on, come on! Right this way, gentle trucks! Hey bud, nothing gentle about us! Or you! Don't be so rough! I'm not being rough, I'm being urgent! The main line train has to go out soon! We are the train! Who are you to tell us when we're leaving? Well, I'm the one who knows the schedule! And you trucks aren't showing much respect! I do run this harbour, you know! Oh, know the schedule, do you? Well, that's real cute. I bet your mommy's real proud of you for that. But let me open your eyes a little, kid. You don't know everything. Huh? What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> we know something you don't know. Well, what is it? Come on, out with it. Oh, it's juicy gossip. All the way from Barrow Inverness. Gossip? Ah, I bet James would know. Not even him. Fat Hat's keeping it a secret. Even from you engines. Well, then why do you know? Puh. We're trucks. We hear everything. See everything. Smell everything. <sighs> <sighs> but we're not telling you. Huh. Fine. Suit yourselves. I've got a job to do. Yeah, sure you do. Until the branch line closes down. What? My God. Oh, bloody hell. Well, better put a few quid in the accident, Ja. What's the matter, Percy? Did I freak you out? What? Uh, yes, of course you did. Is that true? Did you really hear that? Of course. Honestly? I'm a wagon of my word. Here's another tidbit for you. You know the Queen of England? She's taken over as controller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you 
rotten, rude. I can't believe I let them wind me up like that. Gordon is right. I am too gully gubba um, uh, what's it? Um, Gullible, Percy. Yeah, that. Damn straight! Are you unloaded yet, Boxy? Just about. Mr. Trotter's making arrangements with Harbour Master. The produce is going out by boat this evening. Ah, oh, that's good. Hey, about Farmer Trotter. Did he seem off to you? Yes, he did. Between you and me, I think he's having doubts about the railway. So am I. Did you hear what the stone cars said? I'm pretty sure the whole town of Knapford did. Rather loud fellas, aren't they? <laughs> Good point. You know, I may be a well-mannered truck, but I'm still a truck. Yeah? What are you getting at, Boxy? Ugh. We fancy ourselves comedians. Y you know, like your fireman does at the comedy club. Oh, yeah. He was practicing his jokes all morning. And last night. And three weeks before that. Then you know that every good joke has some truth at its core. Comedians rarely make their material up from nothing. It's based on, um, something. So what they said about the branch line c c um not being open anymore. You think it's true? I think it's a rather odd thing for a truck to make up. Yeah. Alright, that's the last of it. You're good to go. Oh, uh, well then, I'd better move you out of the way. The goods platform has to stay clear after all. Oh yes, of course. Uh, you're busy, Percy. You can just push me up to the end of the dock. Don't bother taking me to the other side of the harbour. <laughs> Nonsense, Boxy. I know that your favourite spot is on the other jetty. You know, under the crane. Ah, uh, where it's nice and shady. You remembered. Of course I did. I remember all my friends' favourite things. No oh, bloody rail spikes of bedlam! This blasted hill, I... Uh, and their least favourite things, come to think of it. Ah, does Henry not like the harbour much? No, not much. I see you, Boxy. Mind how you go, Percy. And keep your spirits up. Were there even sleepers under that last bit? I swear. Hello then, Henry. Your train's all ready. Oh, this blasted, uneven track. Whoa, 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 Henry! Henry, look out! Ugh, it's the tipper's loading ramp all over again. It's a disgrace. I... Wait, hold up. Percy, where have you gone off to? I've a train to pick up. I was at the entrance to greet you, Henry. If you hadn't been grumbling too loudly to watch where you were going. I'm a big engine, Percy. We have low visibility travelling backwards. One of the many reasons that this harbour is unsuitable for us mainline engines. Unsuitable? Yes. This harbour is a travesty. Travesty indeed. It's my pride and joy. How pitiful. Your pride and joy is very poorly laid out. How so? Well, uh, the station is up there, Percy. Yes. And the goods yard is down here. Uh-huh. In the harbour. I fail to see the problem with that. Ugh. You may not understand this, Percy, but I'm a big engine with many big wheels. Fumbling my way down that hill, backwards, every time I need to pick up a train, it's, it's, well, it's dangerous and uncomfortable. It's fine for me. Because you're a little engine, Percy, with a big tolerance for bad track. Huh. Well, if you're going to be rude about my harbour, perhaps you should just leave. Percy, don't be like that. I shall, if you persist in your rudeness. Oh... <sighs> Percy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, I just... Look, things are tense on the main line right now. 
Sir Topham Hatt is considering bringing in another diesel for trial. James and Gordon are very upset. A what? Uh, a, a what part, Percy? What word tripped you up? D... 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 Denzel? <sighs> Diesel, Percy. It's a new kind Oi! of... Oi! Keep to time! Henry should have been out of here five minutes ago. Oh, sorry. I expect better from you, Percy. No, 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 sir. It's... It's really my fault. I've been a right groaner. I'll be off now. Right then. See to it that you are. There you go, Henry. Thank you, Percy. I I'm sorry again. It's just... Ugh, some days it feels like the world's gone mad. Nothing is guaranteed for us anymore. Not with British Railways calling the shots. Um, Henry, have you heard anything about our branch? Line? Oh. Farmer Trotter, trucks, comedians, diesels? What's all that mean? Oh, goodness. Oh, no. He's more introspective than usual. Does he know? Maybe I can tell him tomorrow. <sighs> no. No, this is important. Hey, buddy. You, uh, doing okay? Everyone's acting weird, Thomas. Oh, uh, okay. Who's everyone? Everyone. Mr. Trotter, Henry, the trucks, Boxy. Even Station Master seems angrier than usual. I think something's wrong. Huh. We do have a beautiful line, don't we, Percy? The prettiest in England. And I've been all over England. <laughs> You've been to every factory in England, Percy. The same thing? Eh, not really. Try the view off the London Road Viaduct. Then talk to me. How does an engine look off a road viaduct? <laughs> <sighs> Percy, I, um, I have some bad news. Our branch line is closing down, isn't it? You've, you've already heard? Not exactly, but I put the pieces together. Well, it's not true. Huh? It isn't? No, it isn't. The truth is, Percy that they want to close us down, but we won't let them. Oh, oh, but wait, who's them? The government, Percy, Parliament, as if they don't stick their noses in our business enough. Why does Parliament want to shut us down? It's not just us. Every branch line in the country is under consideration. It's not official yet, it's just a rumor, but it's a pretty strong rumor. But why? We don't make enough money, apparently. Bosses and lorries and stuff, they can do the job better, they say. Buses? You mean like Bertie? Yeah, like Bertie. Is that why you two haven't been friendly lately? <sighs> Listen to me, Percy. They can only shut us down if we give them a reason. So let's not give them a reason. How do we do that? By proving that we're the best. Better than all the auto buses and motor cars and cargo lorries put together. We can do it, Percy, if we stay strong. 
can you stay strong with me? I... I think so, Thomas. Do you remember the war, Percy? What sort of question is that? Of course I remember. It still makes me shudder, now and then. Well, this... This is going to be a lot like that. We're going to have to work hard for a long time. And if we don't give in, we'll save ourselves, our passengers, and our home. So I ask you again. Are you with me? I'm with you, Thomas. Always. Thanks, Percy. Farquhar is at stake. If we win this thing, it'll be the most important thing we ever did. Oh, goodness. Is this really that big? Yes, it is. <laughs> well, don't look like that. Just remember, little engines can do big things. <laughs>